All right, so this is what... Um, so the player is for the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, his defenseman called Ivan uh, Provrov. Um, basically what happened was, um, as you all know, pro sports, they like getting very political. Um, and uh, it's... In warm-up, they wear different type of jerseys, right? To commemorate, you know, Veterans Day or or military uh, military um, recognition day or whatever. It doesn't have to be Veterans Days, but they use, they do this on and off during during the season. And of course, one of them is um, um, Pride, right? For for gays, lesbians, you know, the alphabet letters, because uh, there are way too many of them now, and they keep adding them, so I don't know how to say them anymore. But for uh, for the gay pride and whatever, right? So they have to wear it and stuff. So this player, he chose not to wear it. So he wasn't allowed to do the warm up. Everybody, I respect everybody's choices. My choice is to stay true to myself and my religion. That's all I'm going to say. Any, uh, like I said, that's all I'm going to comment at on that um if you have any hockey questions i would like i would answer those russian orthodox so with the game tonight ivan um obviously kevin he's had a hat trick and uh rasmus is first goal of the season can you walk us through the emotion that the team is feeling in that yeah for sure i mean everybody so he's a christian uh christian russian orthodox because of his religion, he said he didn't want to wear the shirt. And now everybody is up in awe about him doing that. They're calling him homophobic. They're calling him all types of things. Right? Um, I'm going to show you now the clip of the coach. John Tortorella. Now, he's a very controversial tro coach. He's very uh, outspoken over many controversial uh, things. So this is what he had to say when he was being asked questions about it. his player not wanting to wear the jersey. I would prefer wasn't in warm-ups before the game. Um, there's a report that he wasn't in warm-ups because he didn't want to wear the pride jersey for pride night. Do you have any comment on that? Yeah, I, I think the organization has sent out a release regarding the organization, the, the beliefs that we have uh, and how we feel about it, and really a great night. Um, with Provi, uh, uh, he, he's being true to himself and to his religion. This has to do with his belief in his religion. And it's one thing I respect about Provi. He's always true to himself, uh, and so that's, that's where we're at with that. Was there any consideration on your part when he chose not to wear the jersey to not play him as a result? No, no. I'm not going to answer many more questions. I, I just think it's unfair. Uh, I know you're going to probably talk to Provy, but um, yeah, that, that, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. I, I think it was a great night in celebrating. Uh, organization has put out a, a statement and I'm not going to get too deep into the conversation. Those are the comments as far as Provi. We, we talked as a team and with Provi, and that, that's where we're at. So let me get distracted. I kind of set the way. Provi mm -hmm. is a Christian, and he's not going to wear a, a gay pride jersey or something? During warm-up, yeah. They wear it during warm-up, and he said no, he didn't want to wear it because of his religion. And now he's being crucified by the media. See, that's uh, bull crap, because yeah. if it was the other way around, then they would be cheering yeah, Correct. So if, Correct. So if you get the right to wear a gay pride, gay, whatever lifestyle you want to, you get the right to do that. If I don't agree with that, but I'm not out there knocking you over the head, saying um, cruel things, saying insensitive things, using slurs, that kind of stuff. Look, I just don't believe in that. Um, that's the same thing like if you want to stand for the um, national anthem or the Canadian national anthem or you want to sit down. Right. I'm not going. I'm not going to look at you crazy if you want to sit down. I'm glad you said that because you know who commented about him doing this and said that he should be um, um, reprimanded for doing that. Kaepernick. That's crazy. Yeah, that's right. 
Kaepernick actually opened his mouth on this and said he was appalled by the league's non-action on him for him not wearing the thing. Kaepernick and now, is crazy for for saying about. that because yeah. he took a stand on something he believed in and it cost him his career. This guy is more or less doing the same thing. Just because you and this is this is Danny, this is nobody else on the panel. I don't believe in a certain lifestyle, or I don't, or and but I, but I don't treat you any differently. That's right. But I just say, look, what you do behind closed doors, what you do in your home is your own business. I don't necessarily believe that, and but I still treat you with respect, whatever. I'm cool with it. But if you or if, or if I was constantly saying, oh, you did you you nothing but an F, or you nothing but this or that, that kind of stuff. And that's when it gets a little cross line or whatever. And especially if that's the only thing you get against the individual, their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's like the same thing like racism. <laughs> if somebody doesn't like me because I'm black, that is their prerogative. As long as they don't right. say nothing or call me the N-word or treat me any differently. Or if I'm at work, I, uh, somebody get 50 minutes for lunch, I get 50 minutes for lunch. But I know in their hearts I can't stand Danny, because he's black or whatever. I okay, what yeah. you can you can feel that way, but just don't display it or, or call me out my name because then it's going to be some issues. Correct, but that goes with common respect, right? Respect everybody's decision, respect. And what he did was respect to himself and being true to himself. Yeah. Did not oh. did not slander anybody. Yeah, if I was a coach, I'd be like, okay. Yeah, the coach backed him up. Yeah, it was that we're said no. Going, we're not yeah, going to wear the, without it. So we're not going to wear the rainbow shirt. I'm going to yeah. wear the away yeah. shirt or the way, and I kept it moving. So just to clarify, he did actually play the game. He just didn't participate in the warm up because he would have been the only one without a shirt. So the team said, the team upper management said, he can't do the warm up. Yeah. So well, this is my family with Danny on this. I'm not. I'm not there to watch the game. To them talk about lifestyles. I'm there to watch the game. I work over the hit a puck in the net. That's what I'm there for. Yeah. And and, yeah. and, and, and really, it, the whole team should. It should be every player's choice. If they want to wear it, they can wear it. If they're not, Correct. to me, that's going against his rights. I mean, exactly. Me, forcing them to. Yeah. I mean, it goes a two faint. You know, two sided sword there. I mean, that's yeah. going against his rights also. I mean, if they yeah. want to write, that's fine. That's that's good and dandy, but. But don't force somebody in, go against somebody for a They should modify the rules. And like, as long as you go on a team, um, on what's where I want to use team, um, equipment or team, um, like one, just like, like you see, uh, teams they have an offense and defense color, it's got mm -hmm. the same team logo on it. Okay, you don't want to wear that. Wear the away jersey, or wear the or wear the traditional warm up that they wear. As long as it got yeah. flyers on it, mm -hmm. I don't care. They need to leave the yeah. political yeah. stuff yeah. and modify lifestyle out of games. That's what they need to do. It, it's sports is about sports. It ain't yeah. about there's like, a way around that, man. Stuff. It's about people playing. No matter who you are, what race you are, what color, what creed, whatever, you're there to play sports. That's what it should be about. How about they be like everybody in their own way? Well, we're gonna wear black jerseys with a cross upside down in in on rights of atheists or something. I'm just using that as an mm -hmm. example. I guarantee you, if somebody wouldn't wear that, they would be making this kind of noise. I guarantee you. So what's the difference? Well, I mean or, or if they say um Indian Americans um, for warm ups, we're gonna wear turbans. I'm just using that extreme craziness. Yeah, you can make somebody put on a turban if they don't want to, and then mm -hmm. I mean that's crazy. Well, that's the whole thing as well, right? Uh, FIFA uh, soccer, the same thing, right? A lot of a lot of players decided no longer to kneel, right? Black players decided no longer to kneel before the game anymore because they feel that that action no longer does anything. You know, it's supposed to, br to bring recognition and show unity, yeah. right? And the, and the actual player said, what we do does nothing. It's how we act we outside that. and on the field towards other players. That It's the actions of real-life things. 
And so many things of these 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 institutions, what they're doing is it, it's all about freaking money for real. Because who's making money off of this? All these jerseys that are being made, mm-hmm. all these things we made. It's that's what it really is driving. Yeah. It's not really the, now that they're trying to reach there. that. It's exactly they're trying to reach that um, that demographic. So if mm-hmm. I make the the jersey that celebrates the uh, baby had a rainbow or whatever they get on there or a sack of that or uh, what do you call it um uh tie dye let's just say the tie dye that's like the rainbow colors whatever oh mm-hmm. that's cool it's da, da, da. So, i mean there's a method to their madness but i i'm told and i'm not a hockey fan at all so mm-hmm. i i feel with that guy i support him i mean if you don't want to wear it you should be made to wear it you know, there's, there's there's two elements here one the fact that he did he chose not to and they're calling all that the second that he's a russian descent that could be part of it too that's yeah. part of it well, i bet you if he is he any good yeah he's a good player i bet you're gonna hurt his endorsements if you have any well i mm, and uh, maybe but it's the team, right? More than anything, the players do get endorsements, but I don't think I don't know what endorsements he has. I guess in Philly he might have some boards or whatever, but I've never seen him in any endorsements around here. But then again, we're Montreal, so we only have our, our players around here. But uh, there's I there's so. a, I don't know if I want to go prefer hockey because I don't think they make that much money, do they? Yeah, they make a good yeah, they make good money. Depending. They make good money. By me there. Oh yeah. Right. They make about. Uh, think one of our players is well, about the sign. average professional. Forty-eight million. Uh, I know. Makes a, a season. I know the guys in the uh, Lightning. They were making pretty good when they were uh, champions the last couple of years. Yeah. See, T. Virus says, when it comes to sports, the entertainment industry, they want you to be- behave and think a certain way. If you step out of line, whatever lines they set, they want to crucify you and take things away. A hundred percent. Yeah. It, it's become so much now that it's not about the sport. It's about the politics. They said the average salary of an NHL player is about $2.6 million a season. Yeah, per year. That's the average because there's a lot of older players in the league, right? That make less, so that brings the average down. But a young player star, like for example, uh, Cofield so, on the Canadians, what is he's highest, about to sign a 48 million, I think, two to three year deal. What does the highest pay NFL NHL players make? Um, in NFL, ooh, probably no in, NHL. Oh, NHL, okay. They're saying that, um. Uh, in July 2020, the NHL and NHLPA ratified the current CBA and extended through 2026. Changes include saying a salary cap at 81 million. Mm. So that's the salary cap. Mm. Yeah. Connor McDavid for Edmonton Oilers. Yeah. He makes 12.5. Not bad. Artemi Panarin for the New York Rangers makes 11.6. Austin Matthews for the Toronto Maple Leafs make 11.6. Fucker. Hate him. Eric Carlson for the San Jose mm-hmm. Sharks make 11.5. Yeah. And Leon Dresasati mm-hmm. for Edmonton makes 11.3 million. Yeah. Shit, the minimum is three quarters of a million dollars. That's the minimum. Yeah. Listen to, listen to this freaking news reporter on this, okay? Like, this guy goes like, like, netsoid. Three things, technically. Provorov also spoke to the media after the game and, and echoed what Tortorella said, so I didn't feel the need to run it. Um, this happened in baseball last year with the Tampa Bay Rays. There were five members of the Tampa Bay Rays who wouldn't wear a patch supporting gay rights. Mm-hmm. And Major League Baseball didn't do much. It was a story for a little bit. Um, John Tortorella, you know, uh, many years ago when, um, you know, racial injustice and the still is to the stable, when racial, when, when Colin Kaepernick first started kneeling during national anthem said, anyone who does that on my team is going to stay. And he has a, he has a son who's an army ranger. So it's not like Tortorella in the past hasn't spoken on, on, on sensitive issues. Um, see, that's one thing. So he has a son that's an army ranger. 
who cares? That's the thing what people say about standing up for the national anthem or sitting down with the national anthem. They're two separate things. Yeah. They're two complete separate things. Shannon Sharp said it best. The national aren't the national stand up for the uh, national anthem. The national anthem is not exclusively for the military. That's what mm -hmm. every American in the United States and they have there have been people that have fought for the right for you to stand up sit down lay down if you want to burn the flag all that kind of stuff that is totally not against now nah, is it cool and is it stupid burning the flag i think that's stupid but mm -hmm. you have the right to do so if you purchase the flag you have the right to burn it if you want to that's your property if you burn it if you don't want to stand up for the national anthem that is your prerogative but to totally destroy somebody or try to call them out making it national news well hell um Worldwide news to me is just overkill. Provorov also spoke to the media after the game and, and, and echoed what Tortorella said. Um, this happened in baseball last year with the Tampa Bay Rays. There were five members of the Tampa Bay Rays who wouldn't wear a patch supporting gay rights. Mm -hmm. And Major League Baseball didn't do much. It was a story for a little bit. Um, John Tortorella, you know, uh, many years ago when, um, you know, Racial injustice and the still is still a stable. When racial, when when Colin Kaepernick first started kneeling during national anthem, said anyone who does that on my team is going to sit. And he has a, he has a son who's an Army Ranger. So it's not like Tortorella in the past hasn't spoken on 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 sensitive issues. Um, the theme from the National Hockey League is hockey is for everyone. Okay. The theme is not hockey is for everyone. Dot dot dot. Unless. You don't believe in gay rights, then do whatever you want. If the National Hockey League is going to do this, if any league is going to do this, do it properly or reevaluate what you're doing. Because there's not a lot of repercussions that I'm seeing from any league. Now, it could change with the NHL. Could change with the NHL. I think you find the Flyers a million dollars for this. I'm not kidding. This guy's crazy. Figure this out. Find stop the defending Flyers. people on nights where it's not about that. It's supposed to be about inclusivity. The National Hockey League need to attack this and figure this out. Look at the words he's using. Because what I heard last night was offensive and didn't make any sense. Because, for instance, if that was a military night, okay? Right. If anyone in Canada or in the States on a military appreciation night wouldn't wear a jersey pregame, do you have any idea the uproar that would have happened on that? Do you have any idea the backlash? Do you have any idea what happened on social media? It's, it's, it's ridiculous what would well, happen. It was just a minute ago we were talking about the F4 that was happening with FIFA fever, where it's, if you were seen with so much as yeah. a rainbow anywhere, you had to fear for your life, imprisonment, or death. Yeah. Seriously. That was propaganda. So, there was no are. threats of I, death. I just think the NHL has to do something here. This is not good enough. This is not good enough. Hockey is for everyone, dot, 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 unless, unless you don't agree with gay rights, is not the phrasing of this. You're either in this or you're not. And one last point. Nothing scares me more than any human being who says, I'm not doing this because of my religious beliefs. Because when you looked at people's lives, you normally say that publicly, you'd throw up at what you saw. You would throw up at what you saw. What is this and guy? And I've seen that a million times oh, in a lot yeah. of different Seriously, ways. Seriously, this guy was like... So don't, don't give me that. With respect. Don't give me that because no one's perfect. All right? Don't tell me. Don't, don't feed me the religious beliefs line. And all of a sudden, the NHL is going to back off this. The National Hockey League today... Needs guys, to find that organization a million dollars and reevaluate how they support gay rights. Find them for what? Because that is insulting. That is the number one trending topic in Canada. That is insulting what happened in Philadelphia. And if the NHL is serious about this, they say they are. This guy's full of shit. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see how serious they are today. But that whole thing was mishandled. And I, and I, part of me so I guess, in, let's just say hypothetically, he didn't believe in something that that network say. Yeah. I mean, was totally against it. And mm -hmm. he didn't support it. He didn't say nothing bad about it, but said, I'm just not going to be there. Well, let's just say today is blue button day. And I hate blue because of I was raised on, I hate it, whatever. And I'm not yeah. going to wear a blue button. So he thinks that the whole network should get fined a million bucks because he peacefully, that's a, that's a form of demonstration. He peacefully demonstrated he didn't cause any kind of drama. He didn't draw any attention to himself. He said, I just prefer not to do it because of ABC one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And he spe uh, that's crazy. That is that is crazy it's, to me. The same insane. way he has a he well, what he's talking about, he has to support it. He has a right to do so as long as he does it in a calm, 
on um, and that's exactly yeah, respectful and, manner and respectful manner not causing any kind of they brought more um attention to this than he did if, oh, yeah. if the team if he talked to the team and the team say okay just don't got there for warm ups i've been done with it cool. he, yeah. they could have said oh he he got a sore throat or he got a virus or he's not feeling well or he's getting fluids or anything and they wouldn't know any better 100 percent. i get to these uh these oh, uh comments oh that's guys kirk i can't wait to end up on tv reach a huge number of humans at once i will open their minds so much they will have heaven and earth to try to cancel me yeah dq says do they still kneel at the end zone and pray uh some players don't. I know in the I know in, in the CFL the Canadian Football League uh, they do uh, they, they do the celebrations uh, yeah. there's no fines uh, guys for a lot of these sports humans actors yeah. and so on some of this on them is yeah. on them because they don't stand up for anything they're afraid to speak up consequently uh, consistently when they disagree because yeah yeah hundred percent yeah uh, some of the uh, NFL celebrations got a time limit to it one yeah. thing is maybe thirty seconds. Yeah. And if they don't do it complete in 30 seconds, they get a, a fine. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Basel says, Gary Bettman ain't going to do shit. 100% he's not going to do shit. I don't expect him to do anything. The pl- the, the pair won't get, will not get fined and should not get fined not at all. Me and Bucks, they're crazy as hell. Uh, hey, Gus, thank you for being here. Uh, that's BS, 100%. Uh, so uh, because you don't want to wear a rainbow flag or anti gay that gay runs the world yeah it's freedom of choice man and That's the guy right. didn't do anything wrong and he exactly. was very exactly. respectful and he's not treating anybody with any disrespect he has a religion he believes in what he believes in he did it respectfully and the media is just going a wall because i am sure that there's probably some gay guys in that locker room it's very possible Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a there was a huge movement and a lot of pro sports where gay people gay players were coming out uh forward and we just lost jason uh and and you know and and they're playing and then well, what i've seen it. the guy that admitted he was gay in the nfl he didn't stand there too long maybe a season or two i don't even know i don't even think he got drafted well he maybe really? got drafted yeah, that's one one. You I'm think it's because of. he said he was gay or like I of... think that has something to do because it's not as um progressive as it is now. Back then it was a little bit tabooish, like yeah. he was like the sacrificial lamb, so to speak. Right. But I remember him. I think he might have played one season, he might have got I'm not I can't think of his name. I know he was a um in college he was a play linebacker position. Okay. Black guy. I think he was seeing a white gentleman, and I cannot think of his name. T. Byron says, "Guys, I don't care what humans get upset. If it, if I don't want to do something, if I don't believe in something, don't want to wear something, that's no one's business. They can mess me up with that. Exactly, man." Uh, Gus Webb says, "The man needs some pussy to relax his mind. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Cock on the brain." <laughs> that guy, that you start, you're talking about the, the the guy. The guy was like ranting there at the end. Yeah, he man, spelled it wrong, know. bro. He said you got cook on the brain. Uh, yeah. I know, I don't know what you're trying to say, but <laughs> Michael Sam, that's it. Yeah. Michael that's Sam. I need to work for president. Terrence president. Hashtag Terrence president. I need to fix this damn planet. Total planet annihilation. Uh, who runs the world? I don't. <clears throat> I can't. I don't care with what humans think or believe because that's their right. Don't bother me. And I exactly, exactly. It's called about respect. Man. It's it's like Eddie Murphy best said it in Delirious, where he says, "You can have a gay friend. You can play tennis with a gay friend. After the tennis game, he'll go. Well, I'm gonna go get a beer. I'm like, well, I'm gonna go suck someone's dick. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> that's that's it's true. Yeah. There's no. I, you want to go do that? Go right ahead. You know. Yeah. There's business. nothing wrong with that. Gus Webb says, Danny, his name was Michael Sam. He played for the Saints. He is correct. Yes. And saying so, uh, we better.